Alright, this is what you need to search for in order to find the rare conversion tool to change the MVS converter to a usable file for your computer if you have Windows like I do. If you have a really sleek computer, it's probably going to do this for you already. But if you had the trouble I had, this is what you're going to need. Now I went down to about the third search here. And you want to download this file right here. What this is going to do is change the MVS converter to a usable file. And you're one step closer to getting your Neo Geo ROMs working on your Dingo. Next you're going to look for the Dingo MVS converter uh, under your Google search. Go ahead and pick the first uh, link it gives you. This will bring you here to this page. This is the Dingo digital page. Um, very useful for Dingo owners. And go ahead and hit the download link. It's, it's going to take you to an external website. And uh, again, the file's in rare form, and that's why you need the rare conversion tool. So go ahead and uh, download this file. Alright, so here's my favorite website for uh, Neo Geo ROMs, amongst others. It's uh, ROM World. In ROM World, to navigate uh, to the Neo Geo page, uh, for some weird reason, you have to choose MAME. Um, not the Neo Geo link that's down here. It's going to bring you to the Neo Geo Pocket ROMs, even though the Pocket link is right below it. They both go to the same place. I don't know why. Go ahead and uh, find the MAME, choose it, I already know the name of the Neo Geo ROM you're looking for because a lot of these ROMs are not compatible with Neo Geo. So we'll choose, you know, an old favorite, uh, Fatal Fury. Alright, so here we got a Fatal Fury 2. They'll show you a little screenshot of the game, hopefully, if they've posted one. Um, go ahead and download it. Okay, so once you've successfully downloaded your uh, Neo Geo ROM, go ahead and pull it to your desktop. I just found that this is the easiest way to avoid a lot of uh, BS. So now you're going to want to choose the MVS converter, and it looks just like this. It's going to bring you to a menu with this little icon. Go ahead and open it up. I don't have the character translation pack, so all I get is a bunch of double question marks, but it goes in order from left to right to convert ROMs. So just start on the left-hand side and find the file that you just downloaded in this case uh, Fatal Fury choose it still in zipped form you're going to open it and now this is the translate button right in the middle go ahead and click it and this little icon means that it was successfully translated again uh, Dingo doesn't have a hundred percent compatibility it's like something like ninety percent with Neo Geo ROM so don't get frustrated at this point, we could close this menu, and I got the translated Fatal Fury right here, and I'm going to put it on my dingo, and we'll see if this works in real time. So, go ahead and drop it in the game folder. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and choose the game folder and scroll to, there's Fatal Fury 2 right there, and if everything translated well, it should work perfectly. And now you have a working Fatal Fury 2, or any of the number of other ROMs that uh, came out for Neo Geo, and then most of them are great. Thumbs up.